Hello all. A colleague on Twitter shared a project that they do, uh, their Soma Cube project, is they have students design uh, the parts for the Soma Cube in Tinkercad and manipulate them in Tinkercad uh, to build shapes. And I assume they also um, do it physically with wood. What is a Soma Cube? A Soma Cube is traditionally people think of it as, as a puzzle. A wooden puzzle usually and it makes a cube and that's the puzzle part of it and there are seven pieces that you put you manipulate and put together such way that you get a three by three by three cube now there are other shapes that can be made from these seven parts which is the extensions and fun for it uh, these parts can these cubes can be any size you want Typically, you can find like one centimeter cubes or one inch cubes or half inch cubes. Um, as you see, these are some wooden cubes. People tend to like go to a dollar store and get cubes or order them on different educational places. Uh, they need to be cubes, though. That's sometimes I guess dollar store ones aren't cubes. So you got to be aware of that. Um, and then kids glue them together and paint them and have their own puzzle things. Now, you can also make them out of cardboard boxes, which makes a nice large size uh, manipulative, which is then fun for a group, more of a group activity. Um, so if you make them in Tinkercad, you, you design them, so you're learning about Tinkercad, but also learning about uh, some design principles, and then manipulate them, so learning more about Tinkercad, like the rotation and lifting things up. It comes down to, um, there are seven parts. There are seven blocks to make. Um, some people recommend that you give them more than 27. Again, a 3 by 3 by 3 cube would be 27 pieces. You give them more than 27 pieces if you're physically doing it. Um, and then they kind of have criteria to put the put make the pieces. They, they has to be... Um, more three or more blocks. They can't make a rectangle, some criteria like that. And it ends up they find out that there are only these seven pieces that f fit the criteria of uh, the pr the project. Um, in the even even more interesting part that I'd never thought about before until Mark mentioned it. All seven parts are basically the V with one more block added so it's like make a v and then figure out where you can add one more block to not make duplicates um so like you add one on this end you add one on the end to make an l you add one on the middle to make a t you add one on the on the other end outside to make a z um add one top middle to make a make what they call p i don't know why they label it p um, and then these two are actually mirror images of each other, which is interesting. So, so let's make things in Tinkercad. Um, some people take the ruler and drop it down right away because they like to get numbers that pop up. And then we're just going to use the cube. Um, so here's our cube. It's 20 by 20 by 20. Um, so that's good. Make it any size you want. Uh, that would be two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters. Again, a centimeter is about the width of your pinky fingernail. Um, now, to move these and manipulate them, the snap grid usually comes defaults to one. Mark mentioned just using it as a five because we just wanted to be able to move it so the faces touch each other. Um, so 20 divided by 5 is, an, is a number, is an integer. Um, so it would be four steps to move something uh, and most that you would need. We could make the snap grid one, but then to move something 10, I got to, you know, move it 10 times. So um, I like copy and paste. So I copy and paste it. For me, it's command C and then command V because I'm on a Mac. And it copies and pastes it into the middle. So now this block needs to be moved twice. And again, it copies it in the middle, pastes it in the middle. So I need to move this back 
six times and down four and I got a V now I'm gonna make a, a fourth block just to uh, so I can have it ready for me because I'm gonna need it for all my other shapes right and I'm gonna group these and then I'm gonna copy and paste that and then I'll move my first shape out of the way there's my V so now I have these two shapes of which I'm going to need them again for my third shape so I'm gonna copy and paste them and then just move them out of the way uh, let's see we needed an L so I'm gonna move that shape to make my L and group it um, so here's what I need for my third shape right but I'm gonna need these for my four shapes I'm gonna copy and paste them and then just move them out of the way um, so I've got a V I got an L again a V and L oh, I need a T all right need a T Uh, so I need to move this so it's a T. One, two, three, four. All right. And you can grab the this box, this block up here, and move it around. Make sure things are actually lined up uh, flush. So there's my T. Select it, group it, move it out of the way. All right, so there's stuff in my fourth shape, but I need them for my fifth shape, so copy and paste them. Move them out of the way. Uh, see what I need now. I need that the, the squiggles, the Z, right? Is that the right shape? Yep, that's the right shape. Okay. And I will just, again, group them. Select them. There's my Z. All right, so there are four shapes, three to go. All right, so I'm going to need these for my next one, so I'm going to copy and paste them and move them out of the way. All right, I need to put this block up. Well, that's what that black cone is for. That raises or lowers your shapes. Um, you see there's a number zero over here. That's telling me it's on the plane right now. So if I move it up, it's going to move it increments of five, remember? So I'm going to move it up to 20 because my, my blocks are 20 by 20 by 20. And then I'm going to back it off into the corner. And I'm going to move it around so I can see that everything's flush. Awesome. Select them, group them, boom. Just move it off out of the way. I uh, said so one, two, three, four, five. I need two more. Oh, these are the twins. Um, copy and paste because I'm going to need these again. Not the twins. These are the mirror images. All right. So this cube, one of the one of them has to have the cube up on the top right, the other on the bottom left. Doesn't matter which. Again, I gotta raise it up 20. Now here's the advantage I like having uh, the ruler down there is these numbers are staying. So I can just click over here and type 20. Then it raises at 20. And then I'll use my arrow keys to move it where I need it. And I swirl around to make sure I'm flush. All right, and then just so we can see this, um, I need to move this up 20. And then I need to walk it whoop, down to that corner. <laughs> and then, yeah, group them. Group them. And there are our seven pieces. Now, seven red pieces would be really boring. So I'm going to want to start changing them. Click on a shape, click on colors, you know, whatever colors people want. There's you know three shades of uh, each color. 
so they could do all the shades if they wanted to. Let's see how the green shading does. Yeah, that's fine. They can do that. And there are our shades, our colors. Now, uh, again, how to manipulate things? Well, um, there are these gray arrows, which are how to rotate things. So they need to learn about rotation. Let's see if I can stick the, the purple and the blue together. So I need to rotate this. And again, there's a number down here. Um, what do you think? 180? Yep. All right. So they'll be playing with 90, 180, 270. And then we drag it and move it there. And then we you know, have to put a piece in here. I'm going to put the T in there. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing a good job of making a um, cube. You'll see here why I say that in a minute. If I can get this. All right, let's move you up here. I wanted to get this. Uh, 90, right? Or negative 90. Yep. Nope, I needed negative 90, didn't I? Uh, so now I want one. All right. Uh, also, this has to come up 20 because it needs to sit on top of here. So again, up 20, and then I can put it in place. Boom. So obviously I'm not making a cube because that would not be, the rest of the pieces could not interlock to that. Um, but that's how you play with this in Tinkercad. I'm not great at making cubes. Now, hopefully you file this up with the actual physical cubes of putting, you know, gluing wooden blocks or plastic blocks together so kids can uh, manipulate them with their hand. But it's a great Tinkercad project. And they can make a man size. And you don't even have to 3D print. If you can 3D print them, that'd be great. You're going to need more than one 3D printer because it's it's a lot of blocks and it's a lot of time so enjoy